All right, hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna to be doing a 50,000 mile review on my 2022 Ford Maverick. So just to start off, it's a 2022 Ford Maverick XLT package. It's got the 4K tow package, FX4 package. Um, I'm not sure what else. It's got the luxury package on there. Well, this is just around the truck right now. It's pretty bone stock. I don't think I have anything. I got this window tinted. I tinted it myself and I did a horrendous job. Don't laugh at me, but I'm learning. And the other side's not tinted, so it's a good comparison. But y'all yeah, be doing a review, so I now have 57,000 miles on here. So uh, I'll probably just round it up to 58,000 because I'm almost 58,000. And yeah, I'll be doing a review, so I'll go ahead and lay out the pros and cons about this truck. I have a lot of seat time. I've traveled from Canada all over uh, to the... Uh, west coast to the east coast to everywhere so yeah so i have a lot of seat time so i feel like i know what i'm talking about when i'm reviewing this truck more than every, a lot of people because a lot of people don't put a lot of miles on as me if you've been on my channel for a while you'll know that i've done different videos and sorry i haven't been uploading anything i've just been really busy traveling and powering like i said it's hard to edit while i'm driving essentially so yeah, we're going to get right into it. I'll probably lay out the cons first and the pros. I'll put them all on the screen because I have some notes that have everything written down. But yeah, I'll lay out the cons and the stuff that has gone wrong with the Ford Maverick at 50,000. It's not much, but there is some stuff that has like not been working so good, you know? So yeah, I'll go ahead and lay those out right now. All right, got my notes here with everything. I'm going to put this on the screen, but... For starters, let's talk about these tires. So these tires, not these ones, these are new tires I got put on. They're just Walmart ones because that's what I'm just going to use until I get my KO2s. Um, but these tires right here, these Prelis, these are almost done. They're almost bald now. I'm just trying to last until I can go back to Kansas and bring over my KO2s. I'll go throw a uh, picture of those on here. They're, um, I'm not sure how what exact size are they, but they fit these wheel wells perfect and it looks super good on the thing but these tires they've left me stranded around like three times now and they just don't have a lot of sidewall protection they claim to be an all-terrain tire but they obviously are not it's like definitely a street tire like see and i probably have a good thirty-seven thousand miles on these and they still have a little bit more life but these are new ones i got because i popped two actually I popped two, so I had to get two new tires. I popped one. Uh, I'll go put the put the little video of it on the screen, but I've got stranded uh, going to Canada, uh, going back from uh, North Dakota. I lost the tire also, and I had uh, I didn't have the right patches. I just took them out of my truck because I was like, I never use them, you know. I'm just gonna take them out. And I ended up getting a flat on that trip. And I had to buy these little cheap little patches. And they sucked really bad. And then so that I ended up having to use like 15 of them on the ride home. Because we were still like 10 hours from home. And so I had to keep keep putting new patches in there. Going flat. And then I layered up. Flat aired up. It took around like our 10 hour trip. Probably turned into around like a 24 hour trip. So yeah, that's the one thing. I don't like these tires. I recommend getting new tires. They'll do you fine if you're going on street and everything. But right when I get off road, they, I'm always worried about that. So that is the first thing. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is not really so much a con, but it's just more the size of the bed. You know, you can't stick a lot in there. You can't fit a lot for being such a small truck, you know, and they have good ways to like maximize your space like these things over here you can uh add different uh, also these right here you could add wood things in here so you can separate a lot of stuff don't mind the banana pills i love bananas i've been just throwing them back here but yeah so back here i could actually fit three dirt bikes throw a video in i fit in three dirt bikes in here i fit mountain bikes in here i fit dressers i fit a bunch of tons of stuff back here two washers and that's really like it's big enough for me but for a lot of people like compared to this like if we need to go pick something up we'll go use our f-350 which is super awesome and it could fit literally everything in the back so like just here looking at this compared to a bed this size where you can literally so much room but yeah, so that's one con, which is not really a con. It could be a pro in some ways. But yeah, that will be the next thing. All right, so the next thing we're going to go on and move on inside the cab. 
So this hasn't really been a big problem throughout my ownership of the Maverick, but this screen right here, sorry about the glare, but this screen right here has frozen on me multiple times. And I know you guys gotta get an update. I'm not sure how to do it. I'll have to look it up and everything. I just, it hasn't frozen on me enough to where I feel like I need to do it, you know? Like every once in a while and then Whenever like it does freeze up, all you gotta do is hold this power button, this power button right here, and this uh, search or search like search button, and then it'll take you like four seconds, and then the screen will go black and it'll reset itself. And that works seems to work every time, even if it's like super frozen up. There's been times where it was frozen up, I didn't know what to do, and then I just um, I just looked up a video and they said to do that, and then it fixed it right away. So that's one thing. So that's another thing that isn't really like a super big problem but it does happen you know okay so like i said the next thing on my list is the actual seat belt indicator so it's the thing that tells the uh tells me watch it should pop up vehicles on but it's not it's not popping up right now it's gonna close the door but it should in a little bit it's the actual thing that tells me if someone in their back in the back seat has taken off their seat belt so that's something that gone out. So I imagine it's something up in there. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, something up in there or one of these guys right here. I'm assuming it's like that one, hopefully. So I'm taking it into the dealership tomorrow. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. But yeah, so that's something that also went wrong. I'll go throw a little video of it popping up on the screen, but that's the next thing. Hasn't messed, uh, messed anything up. It just says it's not telling me when the seat belts clicked in all right so the next thing we're coming to is the actual fx4 skid plate so this is one thing that um it's easy fix too if you just get the right screws but the screws that they gave you so there's a couple bolts and i think they're like 15 millimeter and then there's actually a t27 screw bit yeah yeah torx bit uh, underneath and those uh like there's a little thing and they slide over the metal piece and then you screw through. So it's like, it makes its own threads, you know? And then so those screws suck and they have keep coming out and it's led my skid plate to start rattling. See right now I have a little zip tie right here holding them together, holding it together right there. Little zip tie, zip tie right here holding together, but it's these screws right here. I think they're T27, T24. See, like this one's coming out right now. It needs to be tightened up. But yeah, these are absolutely horrendous. There should be a bolt here, I believe. I think it might have fell out. Dommage. But yeah, these screws under here, these ones, these screws right here, this one, this one, and there's more back here, that one. They absolutely suck and they do not last. But this kid play seems to get good, see? just a little bit loose right now it hasn't really bothered me uh since i put this in here and then i just reinforced it a little bit but yeah that's one thing that is kind of low quality so the next thing uh, i don't really need to show you guys i talked about it in the other the other uh updates i did but the window motors are a little slow which is not a big thing people are gonna say i'm crying about it too much but uh it's just something that like when a new truck when i get a new vehicle like every other vehicle i've had even older ones they've been faster than this one so it's just something annoying and you can obviously tell like they go up like uh, slower than every other car I've had. It might be something with my Maverick or just the Mavericks in general. But yeah, that's the next thing. And then so the next thing we're coming to also is not a really big problem. But the sound system in here isn't the top of the line, but it's not bad. Like I have no really complaints in the beginning I did because it was making a weird when i first got it it was making a weird like vroom, vroom, vroom. i think the speakers need to warm up or something because after uh i did around like a 10 hour trip and then after that they started sounding better and better but now they seem like they sound good uh no like none of that boo 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 sound and yeah they're not super powerful nothing comes out super clear when you're up top but a lot of people don't listen to their music i like to listen to my music loud because i travel a lot i like to hear it all the way around and so that's why like they not up to par with my standards, but they're good.
So with this truck, after 50,000 miles, what problems have I really had? Just the tires, which is that it isn't a part of the truck. Uh, the seat belt indicator, that's something that messed up, that actually messed up on Ford's part. The dash freezes, and that's not very often. Uh, not even often enough to where I feel like I need to fix it, you know? And then, oh yeah, there's been a weird rattle on this side traveling. Sorry. On this side traveling, it sounds like it's coming from in here, but I cannot pinpoint where it's at. But it goes away and it comes back sometimes. It sounds like just something's a little shaking around, but it hasn't been a big enough problem. Like if over the music, I could hear hear. Like on, if I turn the music completely off, I can hear it. But that's about all. But yeah, it's a little noise and I can't figure out what it is, but it doesn't sound anything major. It sounds like something just loose, maybe like a little screw or something. And then the last thing that happened after 50,000 miles was the skid plate bolts. The taking them on and off, they just deteriorated and started falling out and they just kind of suck. All right, so now that we went over all the cons and everything, we can get to the good stuff. So all the pros of the Ford Maverick. I just want to start off saying I absolutely love this truck. I think Ford did a freaking awesome job designing this truck and making it affordable to where like people like me can because i don't make the most money but i don't make uh like the least amount of money it's just kind of mid uh but yeah it's really the perfect truck for like a family or even like someone like me coming in like where i can still have all the truck stuff but still get good gas miles and it could be affordable so the first thing i want to start off with is this truck is super comfortable i love the seats i've rode in tons of cars um for a long periods of time and this one does feel really good to be honest like i have to sleep in here a lot of the nights traveling because i'll drive 24 hours to go to somewhere or 30 hours and like 40 hours so when i say i have a lot of seat time in this truck i have a lot of seat time and when i could tell you my ass appreciates it it does <laughs> but another thing that i really love is the seat the uh the seat warmers so these seat warmers uh, are freaking awesome on your back because they get super hot and they feel really good on your lower back so that's one thing that i really like about the truck and we've had i've had five people in here traveling for not that long because five people is kind of hard i've traveled maybe two hours with five people three hours and they were fine and um uh yeah five people like for like, three hours three or four hours of driving in there they weren't like complaining but they're not going to complain if it's not too long you know but uh that's the middle person will have less leg room because they have to put their legs in other people's legs uh yeah right there and they'll fit if they're short they'll fit good if they're tall they won't really fit too good but i've actually had my six friend he's six seven he's sat in this truck and he's like uh, said he approves of this truck because his head did not touch the roof. Yeah. His legs. <laughs> Dallin, he's in there. He's still got like three inches, maybe four inches of headroom. And a lot of vehicles, he can't get a lot of brands of vehicles because his head hits the roof. And this is one vehicle that's small and he could actually sit in here and he has room. He has like uh, two inches of room still. And he has a seat all the way back and all the way down and he fits he really likes this truck because uh he can fit it still feels small to him you know it feels like a little spaceship but if he needs to ride in here he has he rode in the passenger and he's rode in the driver's seat and i'll probably throw a little video of that if i have it on my phone still but yeah so that's one thing maverick super comfortable um and the seats feel great um they're made out of this like really like kind of durable like durable uh, vinyl type stuff and they keep stains out pretty good i've cleaned these seats once just because they get they're kind of whitish so they get dirty easy you know and i've uh vacuumed them and i've uh well, i don't know that little water thing you go like that i've done that scrubbed them like they're kind of dirty you know i like, see little places but it's a truck so i accidentally spilled paint down here and oh yeah that's one thing i've ac accidentally spilled all my paint down here which i'm not sure how to get that out if anybody knows how to get acrylic paint out i'm not sure if i could just wash it out i probably sh can but i just haven't done it yet and yeah so that's one thing super comfortable the ergonomics are awesome i love this thing it just feels nicer to grab instead of having to come in here and don't mind my socks those are from muay thai so i change so the next one we're getting to is a big one a big one for me that was a big decision was the miles per gallon so a lot of times i can get 30 miles a gallon so the but the most realistic uh realistic number i'm getting is around like 26 to 27 that's driving through uh like almost town and highway but more so highway but if i'm strictly driving highway i could get 27 to 20 
20 or 27 to 30 miles a gallon traveling easy like all the way up to canada i was getting 28 miles a gallon up there and so that's awesome i love that compared to like driving something even my mustang it gets the same but i have a lot less room and stuff like that back home i have a 2003 dodge ram 500 and that thing is just a, a diesel guzzler as it takes a lot to fill up you know and especially living in california now it's awesome having uh the good uh range and when i fill up i'll get around like 410 miles a gallon if i'm getting around like 27 28 miles a gallon or i'll, I'll get around like 410 miles a tank if i'm getting like 27 28 miles a gallon so that's super awesome i can get more if i kind of slow down a little more but i love that all right so the next thing that i love that i stand by a lot is this passcode i always thought they were kind of dumb on vehicles i was like who's gonna use that passcode you just have always have the keys and everything but when i tell you i use this passcode all the time i use this passcode every day i'm not even joking so when you want to get in blah blah, blah you just put your passcode dude put your passcode in and then it unlocks the vehicle and then also if you do your passcode and then you click this button right here, it unlocks all the doors. So that's super nifty feature. I just found that out not too long ago. I could have been using it all the time, but I love this Pasco. So sometimes if like Pomage goes with me, I'll leave the keys in there with the AC on so he's nice and cool. And then I'll run on the side of the store and I'll just go like this. You push these two buttons at the same time and then it locks everything. And it's super good. And so this comes along with the app too. The app, you can actually lock the vehicle and like track of miles a bunch of different kind i'll throw a little screenshot on the of the app on the screen but that's also super nice like if i can't remember if i locked the vehicle then i'll uh the maverick then i'll go in there and just lock it just in case you know just because my memory is super bad but that's one thing that i really love about this thing i always thought they were dumb but i'm so happy i have it now so another thing that's i really like about the maverick is that a lot of people there's a lot of people who love the maverick you know like when i go out like i'll get compliments on the maverick which is not a reason you should really get it unless you want to go for the cool factor i got it more for because it's a perfect truck for me like literally with everything i do but yeah people love the color love the uh love the truck in general like a lot of people know about it and they're like you know i got rec recognized in public shout out to the guy at subway i seen and then also the guy who recognized my truck in kansas city during the snowstorm when my mom and dad were driving my truck but um yeah so that's one thing that is really cool like everybody loves a truck and that's if people compliment your truck you everybody knows how good it feels when you get a compliment on your vehicle but <laughs> well, that's one thing listen like i like i said it looks awesome i'm going to be doing a lot more aftermarket stuff for this thing so it's going to look even better and even stock it looks great so it's kind of dirty right now just because i've been driving around haven't been to the car wash in a while just because it's i live in town so it's not it don't really get too dirty when i'm on the reservation on dirty roads and everything it'll get really dirty really fast but yeah i love the way it looks of the way it looks especially with the off-road tires i have that i don't have here they're in kansas they're in kansas but i'm going to be going back to uh kansas for an, uh going to oklahoma for a pal so i'll swing by my house over there and then grab my tires on my mom and dad maybe because i think they might take their big truck so they can carry them all for me hopefully another thing like i said my truck was around 33000 with everything. If I get a picture of the sticker price, I have it. Uh, I'll show you guys. I'll show you everything. Uh, sticker, MSRP. And I didn't. I don't think he had any markup on it. To me, that is a super affordable brand new truck. Compared to like looking at something like that. When those are like going for like 80000 I believe. Or something like that. And even like a new a new like trail boss or something that's cool you know it's 50 50 grand for that thing so i've been saving i've been saving like 20 grand easily on uh on just like having a smaller truck and i get way better gas mileage and everything and so that's one thing that i really love about the truck is just like the um, the gas the gas saving and the price tag saving yeah and i forgot to mention my payments around like four four seventy five a month which is kind of high just because I'm only 22 and I don't have a lot of credit, so they had to give me finance at a really high, like, um, uh, thingy or whatever. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so another thing talking about is the all-wheel drive system in here. So, I have big props to Ford. Where I believe they developed an all-new all-wheel drive system. So, it's basically a unibody vehicle. It's not a frame-on body. So, that doesn't allow you for the most wheel flex and everything because it's all for independent suspension. But... When I tell you it, it 
figures out where to put the power it does super good you usually have to get down on the uh, up in the rpms a little bit to where to get the wheel spinning and then it'll figure it out but it does figure it out i'll throw a video i've had this thing in snow and snow up to here and it's been trying to figure it out and uh the best thing i found out is turning trash control off and putting it in sand mode um that seems the best because it'll give you a little bit more wheel spin a little, little bit more wheel speed than throwing it just off traction just off traction gives you a lot of wheel spin but sand mode gives you that little extra that was enough to get me out of some situations in the snow but you guys seen my video go check it out it's on my channel the all-wheel drive system is awesome it really tries to find traction good and i like the feeling of never having to throw it on four-wheel drive uh, i thought it was dumb all-wheel drive was like, it's cheap you know but this one's really good i really like it So the next thing is a pro I have a, is that it is super comfortable and I have a lot of seat time, like I said. So I have, I know what I'm talking about with the Maverick. I've been uh, in there countless hours now. Going back to the all-wheel drive system and everything, I put this Maverick to the test. Like a lot of you, people said I was destroying the truck, but I bought the, tr even when they say I'm destroying it when I'm driving it this much, but I bought this truck to drive it. I bought it to uh do exactly what i do you know i travel for work and everything and i travel all over the u.s and canada so i'm not gonna try to keep the miles down just because uh some people online say like i bought it to drive it I, that's why i pay for it you know that's why i have insurance on it because i'm driving so much <clears throat> so i have put this truck to the test traveling off-road um loading i've loaded this thing down with a trailer is the trailer is like 3500 dry weight and i towed it up through the mountains probably all together it was like 3800 and through mountains i'll have that video coming out pretty soon but i have put this thing to the test and it did have different tires on which i would not put it through a lot of those tests with these tires because i really don't like these tires yeah i put this thing to the test and it passed all of them someone's got to do it and that someone's gonna be me and i believe i have the most miles on youtube I have the most mild Ford Maverick. So we'll go to the next thing. Next thing is, yeah, so like I said, everything on this truck is like ergonomical. Everything is built super well, like super well. Like coming in here, oh, not unlocked. Let's go use the passcode because the keys are inside. You have lots of leg room like here. I love these in here. Like everything is just in a good spot, you know? So you have tons of leg room. I think this seat's all the way back. No, it's not all the way back. See? All the way back, my feet can't even touch the end. If I put them out, they can. But yeah, lots of room. Everything feels pretty good. This is all plastic up here, but nothing feels like it's falling apart and it's super cheap, you know? This the only thing is this thing kind of moves around, but it's a screen. It's not going to be built in there super tough. Everything in here. The doors feel nice and solid. Yeah, she's scuffed up kind of a lot now just because I have a lot of people in and out of here. But yeah, everything feels super ergonomical, super strong. I'll go give you guys a little walk around of the, the interior. So here's my back seat. It's kind of dirty, a lot of stuff. And then here's everything that I keep underneath the seat. So basically I keep the uh, this thing for sun, my dirt bike stuff. I keep my recovery gear. I got tr uh, truck claws over there, two hitches, um, a... Um, two uh two uh soft uh shackles and then also a recovery rope it's one of the uh it's one of the kinetic ropes so you can get tug on it pretty hard and it's super good but i love how everything fits under there and yeah everything's super super ergonomical so coming back to the interior of the truck i love how many so i believe this comes with a luxury package you get these two plug-ins cigarette lighter and then you get two back here usb-c usb and then also this plug-in, this uh, this regular uh, 12 volt or whatever it is. I'm not 12 volt, whatever it's called. The, the reg regular plug-in. You guys know what I'm talking about. But I love that all my friends can charge in here. When in here, like literally almost everybody can get a charger. And all these little cubbies, little cubbies. There's lots of little cubbies to put. You could take this out and wash it. All these little cubbies, like this cubby, these cubbies, this interior cubbies, the side cubbies, these cubbies. Got the glove box. This cubby. We got cubbies back there. We got cubbies in the seats. Oh, they're not this one. Just on this side. Cubby in that seat. Cubby in the doors. We got the hole underneath. And then you come to the back with luxury package. I love this right here. 
So this is one thing that I really love about the truck, which you guys can tell I love a lot. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. This cubby over here, in here, and then also has a false bottom in there, so I keep my, some of my box and stuff. But come in here. This, I've used this already. I powered different stuff with this. I can't remember exactly, but I know I powered different stuff. And this light right here, this button, I love coming to the back of the truck and be able to turn it off and on right here. It is so much nicer than having to go in the cab. You can do it there, but this is honestly probably my favorite thing about the Maverick. This right here, this button, because we'll say I'll just be right here. I'll go, oh crap, I need light. And you just come in here, click this button, the Maverick's, the Maverick is not tall, so I can literally, I'm only 5'10", and so I could come over and reach in and not have to get on my tippy toes or nothing. So that's one thing that I really like, you know, I come straight in, boom, click it. I can turn it on and off. And if you leave all the lights on, they will go off and save your battery. It will not kill your battery. So you can leave them on and then it won't just stay on until your battery dies. All right, guys, so little hold, I need to go pick my brother up from his class. He's doing an automotive class at Shasta College. So, little detour, but we we'll probably continue the video when we get back home. Sorry guys, it's the next day. I kind of got busy that day, so I didn't get to finish the video. But, the next thing I want to talk about is the cabin size compared to other trucks. So, uh, like, try the trucks this size. So, this truck inside, don't mind, it's kind of dirty, again. <laughs> but, this truck cabin is honestly super big. Like. Like I said, my 6'7 friend, um, he was in here. He could fit in this driver, so he had it all the way back and then all the way down. And his head still had like two or three inches. I threw the video in there for you guys. But yeah, uh, I could fit five people in here. And yeah, I just want to say that the cabin size, like uh, my friends rode in a Toyota Tacoma. Uh, kind of a newer one, probably like 2016, 2016, 2017. They rode in that, and they said this interior, this the inner cabin here, was actually bigger than the Tacoma. They said it felt bigger. The Tacoma was look, did look bigger because it was just um, lifted and it had big tires on it and stuff. But they said in here it felt bigger, more comfortable, kind of just everything. Because Tacomas, I feel like uh, I've been in one and they just feel like little tanks, you know? Like they just, they're nice. I love Tacomas. Like, don't get me wrong. I really, I would love to have a Tacoma also. But the inside here, I don't think you can't beat it. So the next thing I want to talk about is the aftermarket support. So there's already been a lot for this truck, like a little bit, de little decals and stuff like that. And there's already been a, a lift came out like that. It came out so fast. And I still have not put mine on because I'm just being lazy and not putting it on. And I don't have my other tires. So I don't want to lift it and then keep these tires on there right now because I like the way it looks. So once I get the other tires, I'll probably I'll throw it on at once, you know, just, uh, just to throw it all on at once just so I can see like a big comparison, you know, like that. But yeah, there's already aftermarket support. I got a uh, divider for this thing. I got um, Maverick black lettering for the thing. Uh, they already have little light bar kits for this stuff ready. They have a bunch of other different kind of aftermarket supports, uh, aftermarket stuff for this. So that's really awesome. That's the one thing I really like. And it's just Ford, so there's always coming out. And there's like tons of like bed accessories you can get, like uh, roof racks and stuff like that. And even like, I noticed they even had a, uh, uh, tents. I seen one guy online actually had a hard top for the back and like they have tunnel covers They have everything you kind of Could want and then they're just gonna come out with more and more. Oh, yeah, so going back to traveling This truck cruise is super nice. It's super easy to drive Super easy to drive when you're traveling like you just throw it on cruise control It doesn't matter if you're going 70 65 80 it just cruises nice and easy the whole time and it never really feels like it has to downshift or anything. The cruise control works great. And uh, I have can say that because I've drove 30 hour trips in this truck and I've stayed on cruise control the entire time. Sometimes I'll go off for a while going through, the, going through the mountains and stuff like that. But yeah, cruise is super smooth. I love it. A lot of it uh, is having these tires on, these long aggressive tires. If I have more aggressive tires on, it will make it not cruise as smooth as much, but it still feels super smooth. And the last thing is, um, like I said, the light switch in the bed. I love that thing. I love it to death. That's so awesome. Like, there's so many times when I'm just sitting by my truck and I need to just turn the back uh, lights on. And it's so easy. And I use that for, at the end of powwows, like, they'll end around, like, 12 o'clock at night. 12 o'clock at night. And then, so I'll come back and I'll get get undressed, take all my regalia off and stuff. So I turn that light on right there. I don't even have to open my truck or nothing. So. All right, guys. So that's my whole review. 
Um, I just want to say I love this truck absolutely, like to the max. All right, guys, that's my whole review. I just wanted to say I love this truck. I think Ford did a super good job. I already had it for almost 60,000 miles now, and I would not have a different truck, to be honest. This truck has been nothing but good to me, and I've already put 60,000 like on, and I've had it for around uh, a year now. Yeah, I've had it for almost yeah, a year now. I think I had it for a year, which seems time flew by. I've had 60,000 miles in a year. So next by next year, I'll have 100,000 easy. And so we'll be getting a 100,000 mile review. I'll probably do uh, more often reviews from now on just because um, I'm getting more back into the YouTube grind and everything. But yeah, I just want to say I love this truck. It's perfect for me right now. I'm 22 years old and I travel a lot. Like I travel... 30 20 hours different trips you know i go around town i go off road i just trying to put my, i use i use my truck you know i'm not the kind of people who sit uh buy the car and just park in your driveway you know that's just so foreign to me because everything i've ever had i've used it to the max you know i buy it to use it i'm paying for it to use it so i'm not gonna just have it sit around you know and yeah so if you guys have any questions about the maverick or any questions about my review or anything if you guys want me to elaborate on anything or just like give some different kind of content comment down below what you guys want to see uh, i really appreciate all the feedback and all the comments it really helps with the youtube algorithm too make sure to smash that like button subscribe and turn that bell on for notifications because i'm going to be coming out with videos uh way more often and i'll be back into the grind so i just want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have a good one and go get yourself a Ford Maverick.